September 17, 2021. My name is Bill, aka Billy Goat, and today's episode we'll be talking about the seventh mower that I purchased for my lawn care business. Based on the serial number, this is a 2002 DR all terrain field and brush mower. If you watched my last video, you also know that I own a 1999 DR brush mower as well. It's an AT1 model. Now, DR made the next generation uh, version of, of that mower, and they came out with the AT2 version. And what's different about the AT2 version is that uh, the AT1 uh, only accepts two attachments, where the AT2 accepts several attachments. I wanted to get a second mower, field and brush mower, uh, because back in 2017 I was transitioning from part-time to full-time and uh, I was acquiring more um, overgrown area cleanups, uh, field and brush mowing vacant lots and such and uh, I needed a backup mower uh, for those you know, situations if the mower I was using at the time uh, broke down at least I knew that I, I had a backup it was uh, March, end of March uh, 2017, uh, I saw this uh, ad on uh, Craigslist uh, for this mower here. Uh, a guy was listing it with uh, four attachments. Um, had this attachment here, which is the 26 inch uh, field and brush cutter attachment. It also had a uh, 42 inch uh, uh, blade uh, snow plow. Um, had a 30 inch uh, snow thrower attachment and it also had a generator attachment. It was listed for $3,200 and so I messaged the guy uh, through email offering him $2,500 cash and it wasn't long uh, afterwards he replied back and said hey it, it's a deal you can come pick it up. Um, at the time, which I still have my 4x8 trailer, I knew that I wouldn't be able to get, you know, the power head and the four attachments and he had some other accessories, had snow chains and, and some other things that uh, he was throwing in also. Uh, so I had to call my brother. Uh, he has a bigger trailer, so uh, we made a road trip to uh, Virginia. Uh, it was a two-hour trip. Uh, estimated two hour trip but it ended up taking us four uh, there was some kind of uh, accident on uh, 495 so it felt like it took forever to get there but we finally got there and um, you know everything checked out fine uh, we loaded it up on the trailer and uh, brought it home so now I'm the you know the lucky owner of this mower okay let's uh, get into some of the uh, key features of this mower you know we'll do a walk around here we can see that it has a 15 horsepower Kawasaki with electric start um, has what looks like a two gallon uh, fuel tank on there and as far as the uh, operator controls they're much like the uh, AT1 couple of differences is that uh, the AT2 version here has a lever on the right side which is a brake uh, which is nice because the AT1 doesn't have a brake um, and then they made it a little bit easier when you engage the blade uh, on the AT1 the, the lever was on the side here where now they mounted it um, up on the top of the control panel there um, but everything else is pretty much the same. The operator present uh, lever and then the uh, wheel clutch uh, for the transmission uh, is there. And it also has the, um, you know, the same as the uh, other model um, for forward speeds and, and reverse. So there's some other things that are on here um, because of the attachments. Uh, I left the 
um, bracket here that it's for the snow thrower where you can uh, change the direction of the um, of the chute. Um, but I just leave it on there. I I found that it's it's not you know it's not interfering with anything. So and it also has uh, an extra uh, uh, wire harness um, for the uh, generator attachment. So that that's on there. And and I believe uh, when they started doing the AT2 uh, models, uh, they added a um, uh, an hour meter um, and RPM, uh, which is uh, you need it for the um, generator attachment. So that's pretty much it um, as far as the uh, the features. Um, the transmission um, is the same. Uh, the only thing is I found that um, when you're in the fourth uh, position, it's not as fast uh, as the AT1. And, you know, comparing uh, the two machines that uh, the AT1 uses a different pulley size. So I guess it affects the speed. And, and um, I, actually like, I actually like the AT1 uh, speed. Um, and I want to somehow maybe be able to convert this over uh, so it can uh, be a little little faster. And the reason why is uh, if you notice here, I got a, um, a mount for a uh, sulky. So, uh, and yes, uh, when I'm in these uh, lots in these fields, um, you know, I'm only 150 pounds and, uh, you know, I don't feel like walking, you know, an acre, two acres, three acres where, you know, I'd rather be uh, on a sulky and uh, just riding around. And I, I tell you, it, it definitely uh, speeds up the, uh, the uh, process of, uh, you know, knocking down the, the grass. So... Um, and that's pretty much it um, unless anybody has any um, questions um, on this mower I'll uh, you know just put them in the comments and I'll uh, try to answer them or even make another video before I end this video I wanted to uh, show you the uh, sulky um, attached to the back of the brush mower um, this particular uh, Salky is actually a right Velky, a two-wheel Velky. It's awesome. Uh, I know they're a little pricey, um, but they are definitely uh, worth the uh, their weight in gold. I tell you, I mean, it's an awesome um, design, and uh, never had any problems um, with this uh, Salky whatsoever. Um, it is getting a little worn out. Um, so I'm not sure if I can replace anything or if I'll need to, uh, you know, just purchase a new one. But uh, definitely, definitely worth the money. Alrighty, I'm going to leave you with some uh, actual footage uh, of me uh, mowing behind this uh, brush mower. It was a job that I had uh, early summer. A uh, property management company uh, contacted me and, and needed me to uh, knock down a uh, half acre lot. Um, but when I showed up, it, it definitely wasn't a half acre. It was at least a, a three quarter or larger lot. Um, but uh, I was in it for about 30 minutes um, and uh, told my buddy about it, Carlo. Uh, he's also known as uh, Lomo Carlo, uh, the cutting force. He's got a YouTube channel also uh, you need to check out. He, uh, he showed up and he helped me uh, tackle this uh, property and um, he brought all his arsenal. Um, he was out there testing all his uh, mowers and weed eaters and he wanted to see uh, you know what his equipment could do in, in uh, tall grass and um, you know this was on a Saturday evening you know what what else is there to do on a Saturday evening than go mow down overgrown properties but uh, you know we had a good time um, we were out there you know probably close to you know three hours 
uh, you know, mowing and, uh, you know, we were doing all the things. We were talking and, uh, you know, uh, just, you know, checking the mowers out and, you know, what they're capable of. And, uh, you know, he was doing his own filming on for his channel. And uh, uh, you'll see me, you know, if you check his uh, video out uh, as well uh, at that job, you'll, you'll see me kind of uh, running around uh, mowing you know why he's filming so uh, that's about it so we'll uh, you know I'll leave you with this and um, we'll catch you on the next video and uh, I'll show you my next mower that I bought for the business see you later <laughs>